This is Mr. Beck Does Your Homework. This is AP Physics Homework 9.3, questions 11, 12, 13, and 14. Question 11, just like in the previous homework, asks, a charge of negative 1.1 times 10 to the negative fifth coulombs is fixed on the x-axis at 9 meters, and a charge of 9 times 10 to the minus sixth coulombs is fixed on the y-axis at 4 meters. Calculate the magnitude, magnitude, of the resultant electric field, E, at the origin. So I want to know my electric field at this point answer in units of newtons per coulomb. Well, this is a vector question, so this one is going to be, since it's negative, it'll have an electric field pointed towards the right, because the electric field points the direction a positive charge would feel a force. So this would have an electric field towards the right. This one is a positive, so it's going to have an electric field pointed down. So if I were to draw those two, here is my electric field from the first one, here is my electric field from the second one, they are going to add to be a vector electric field down this way. So I just need to calculate this field and this field. This one is going to be um, E equals K Q over R squared, where it's going to be um, your Coulomb constant, um, which I don't think they tell you, so we'll just go 9 times 10 to the 9th times the amount of charge is 1.1 times 10 to the minus fifth. I'm just going to absolute value it because we're worried about the magnitude. 1.1 times 10 to the minus fifth coulombs divided by r squared. Well, I've got 9 meters, so that's going to be 9 squared. That'll give me my horizontal component of my resulting vector. I'm going to do the same thing for this one. This is E equals kq over r squared. So this is a k of, again, 9 times 10 to the ninth. Uh, my q is going to be 9 times 10 to the minus sixth uh, coulombs for that q. And then my r is going to be 4, and I better square that one as well, and that'll give me my vertical component. So that's going to be in the y direction, that's going to be the x direction. So now I can do a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So my resulting electric field is going to be the square root of the first one squared plus the second one squared, because I'm looking for that hypotenuse, that angle. So that is the magnitude of the resulting electric field at the origin in newtons per coulomb. Question 12 says calculate the electric potential at the origin, answer in units of volts. Well, this is a scalar problem. So I don't have to worry about the vectors and, and, and trigging them together because I'm going to get two numbers and I'm just going to deal with them. So what I have there is that my electric potential, V, is K times the first charge, the first charge divided by the first radius plus the second charge divided by the second radius. So this is uh, Q2, R2, and this is Q1 over R1. This is also K times the sum of the Qs over the Rs. So here it's going to be 9 times 10 to the 9th times uh, parentheses uh, Q1 over R1. So Q1 is negative 1.1 times 10 to the minus fifth. Here the negative matters because it's a, it's a scalar, so I've got to know if I'm adding or subtracting it, over 9 meters plus my positive, four, uh, pl positive 9 times 10 to the minus 6th divided by my 4 meters. So no trig involved, but this is going to be a positive, this is going to be a negative, so it's going to be this minus this times my k, and that will give me my electric potential at the origin. Question 13 says, a negative 2 times 10 to the minus 6th charge is brought from a very distant point by an external force and placed at the origin. Calculate the magnitude of the electric force on this charge. Well, now I know that my force is going to be Q times my E field. Well, I know my magnitude of my E field from this answer over here. So if I just take this Q from this problem, so that's going to be negative 2 times 10 to the minus 6th times my E field that I got up here. The magnitude, my answer to number 11 is my E field. So F equals QE. And that F would be pointing in the same vector direction as that E, that net electric field. But it's just asking for the magnitude, so that's going to be a positive number. So there's F equals QE. Finally, sliding this up a little bit, it says calculate the work that had to be done by an external force to bring Q, this Q up here, to the origin from the distant point. Now I know that my work done is going to be how much my energy changed, which is in this case, it, uh, sorry, don't use the E there, um, uh, because that will confuse with electric field. So my work done is going to be uh, my change in electric potential energy, U. 
which is going to be my Q times my potential difference QV. Well, I've got V up here as my answer to number 12. So if I know V and I multiply it by my Q, my negative 2 times 10 to the minus 6th, that'll be how much work was done. Um, so I don't know if V is positive or negative, but whatever it is, that same sign will be here. Because if it's a negative V, you'll do negative work. If it's a positive V, you'll do positive work. So U is QV. This Q again being the negative 2 times 10 to the negative 6th from question number 13. Times your answer to question 12.